everyone. Welcome to TCM. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Ahead tonight, we have a double feature of pictures featuring music from the songwriting brothers who wrote more movie musical scores than any other tandem in history, Robert and Richard Sherman. Up first from 1968, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. The Shermans started their songwriting career on a bet from their dad, songwriter Al Sherman. He said they couldn't compose a song together. Dad was mistaken. They wrote Gold Can Buy You Anything But Love, eventually performed by Gene Autry. In 1958, they wrote Tall Paul, sung by then Mouseketeer and at Funicello. That caught the attention of Walt Disney, who proceeded to use the brothers in a number of Disney films, beginning with The Absent-Minded Professor and The Parent Trap in 1961. The brothers worked exclusively with Disney until his death in 1966. In 1965, the Shermans won two Oscars for Disney's film version of Mary Poppins for their original score and for the song Chim Chim Cheri. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was the first movie the brothers worked on after Disney's death and the first that was not a Disney picture. Dick Van Dyke stars as an eccentric inventor who fixes up an old banged up racing car at the urging of his two kids. The family affectionately names the car Chitty Chitty Bang Bang before crossing paths with a woman who is truly scrumptious. I'm not being sexist, that is her name, truly scrumptious, played by Sally Ann Howes. Soon the car is flying and a grand adventure begins. In a way, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was set up as something of a sequel to Mary Poppins. More about that after the movie. 1968, also starring Lionel Jeffries, Gert Froh, Benny Hill, and ballet dancer Robert Heltman as the terrifying child catcher. This is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. also produced the James Bond film franchise from its inception until 1989. For this, his only non-Bond film, Broccoli was hoping to recreate the success of Walt Disney's 1964 picture, Mary Poppins, by hiring Dick Van Dyke and the songwriting pair of brothers, Robert and Richard Sherman. Broccoli even attempted to cast Mary Poppins herself, Julie Andrews, as truly scrumptious, but Andrews declined, leaving the door open for Sally Ann Howes, who had replaced Andrews on Broadway in My Fair Lady. The film failed to duplicate Mary Poppins' success, although it did earn the Shermans an Oscar nomination for the film's title song. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang was eventually adapted for the London stage in 2002, with the brothers providing a brand new song, as well as a reworked musical score. The show moved to Broadway in 2005, ran for 285 performances. Up next, another Oscar-nominated musical from the Sherman brothers, as Richard Chamberlain stars in a 1976 version.